Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Drag me to hell. Movie thoughts. I mentioned in the review that I'm not a big fan of the Raimi sense of humor. I never have been where we're supposed to laugh at people's misfortune. That's not strictly, it's not only Raimi who does it, but Yes, let's not dwell. The I felt like the, the stuff with Christine having been overweight, I don't know, I felt like some of it was actually supposed to be, supposed to convey her desperation, which is actually one of the few things that I felt really was palpable. I didn't feel that much fear during it, but when she was like selling all her stuff and it was like, ah, oh, that's like a third of the money she needs and she's sitting there with the with the money in front of her I, I felt like the desperation, I mean, she it's not anywhere near enough it's all she can get so she takes it, she accepts this crummy deal because that's I felt like that conveyed the desperation well, and that was like the one time. And then she's like sitting there scooping ice cream, and, it's, and oh, she's lactose intolerant. Yeah, but she wants ice cream. And why did she even have ice cream if. Oh, wait, I guess she went to the store and bought it? Anyway, yeah, it. And, and then we have her, you know, downing big, I don't know, ice cream dessert after another and it, she slides it over like it's a, a drink. I don't know, it's like, can they not show drunkenness in PG-13 movies anymore? Is, is it in place of that? It just, I don't know, I didn't find it funny and again, if it was supposed to convey the desperation, I really don't think it worked. I get what they, you know, I get what they were trying to do, but I just don't really think it worked. Now the... And the other thing that came out of the whole thing... It was, it was basically completely useless, this whole thing of, oh, she used to be fat. Okay. It was, it was just there so they could have her eat ice cream and have the... this hilarious exchange so awkward between the the Ganesh granddaughter and Christine with you used to be fat, don't you? Yeah. That yeah, wow. And the the, the hilarious the that in itself I don't know, I didn't find that funny, but the next bit like right after she says you're not welcome here. As so it's like, okay, overweight people are not allowed in your house. <laughs> That's just I don't know what weightist. I did, what what is the term for that? But I'm I'm sure she's gonna get an angry phone call from the, the pro overweight, you know, accept overweight people now organization or something. I also. Well, when she says, you know, no, oh, you you could have given her an extension on the loan. Are you, are you going to stand here on my porch and lie to my face? Well, I would come in, but you, you're blocking the door. You, you're not asking me in. So that's making it very difficult. I guess the, the, the bits where Ganesh seemed to be alive and after she was dead, that was just the, the demon tormenting 
her. I guess this demon has a thing for bodily fluids. Yeah, and I, mean, I, I did read on the MDB fact that Alamia is like this demon creature thing that had sex with Zeus and then like Hera got mad and killed Lamia's kids and, and apparently like Lamia has the lower body of a snake man Zeus must have been drunk I suppose that might more or less cover it I gotta mention the ending like I said in the review, it's, it's nice and grim. I, I I do wonder, would it have actually happened if she hadn't fallen on like train tracks? It, would, it, would it have happened just by her being on top of something? If, if she had sat into a chair, maybe it would also have happened. I mean, if so, isn't it just about getting her on an airplane, getting her nice and high, then the... the you know, because hell is down there. It can't, it can, can it reach all the way through the sky? What kind of altitude can a demon like that get? Because I, I have a friend, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't, don't even worry about it. Anyway, yeah, it's nice and grim, but it's just, it's supposed to be like really devastating. And it's just not. It's it's really fun. That's that's the real joke that Raimi thinks that we care. It was nicely done. And that last little bit where it was like her with her eyes and this, was, I think like some of her skin went on and like skeleton -y came out. It was nicely done and good effect. And Justin Long, dude can act. But we're supposed to like be all invested in, oh, he got, he's gonna propose, and she's, you know, everything worked out, she got the promotion that I, frankly, completely forgot about, and, yeah, in the course of these 94 minutes of movie, and, you know, Stu broke down and cried, so he won't be around anymore, and, oh, and the real crowning achievement to this turd is that she admits she was wrong. She, she should have granted that extension. It's ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's, it's just this simple-minded thing of, oh, you know, Bank bad, money good. It's just, it's this ridiculous. See, if it was just this harmless, stupid kind of thing, I would think, whatever, I don't care. But it's an old stereotype that bankers are trying to cheat and trick you. And so it used to be used against the Jews, so it would be more okay to hate and beat them. And yeah, see, that part is not, not okay with me, not, not at all, and yeah, it, so anyway, after all this, it's, yeah, all, all of this is supposed to build, and we're supposed to be really devastated, like, like a big, a, a classical tragedy, where it, it, it you, you, she could not escape her one, you know, this big, this fatal mistake she made. This, she, she did something she really shouldn't have, and it's just, it doesn't work at all. It, it's mostly because the characters are just so bland and forgettable, and we don't care. But it's, it's, it's like, I guess, with Transformers kind of stuff. It's, we don't really care about the the characters in, in Transformers case, the human characters. They're just there so that 
this stuff that we actually want to see can happen. And that's clear. Raimi clearly doesn't care about the characters. He just needs someone to be vomited on and to throw against, uh, you know, walls and cupboards and, yeah, to, to be embarrassed in front of their boyfriend's parents and stuff like that. that that's it. And then after that, it's, again, like I said in the review, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, you're the director. But then after that, he tries to have this big, grim, devastating ending. Like I said, it's it's dark, and it's it's maybe the one thing that I will remember after you know, watching this movie in, in you know a day or two. But I don't know. It, I would frankly not even really care if he hadn't gone to such efforts to try to ramp up this emotion of it that just isn't, yeah, the, the ring and, and all this stuff. Now, yeah, I, I just gotta mention, because it could not be more obvious that the, the button envelope was not, it, she, excuse me, she doesn't bother to open the envelope, what, is she afraid, she'll be embarrassed by when, when he says, oh, you care that much just about a button, and he, she can come back with, well, you care that much about just a coin, and it's just, and they even, they, they go to great lengths to keep bringing up the, the coin thing, you know, the first time we see him, she gives him the coin, and then, oh man, f a coin for my coin collection, remember that audience, and then later at the, at the parents, so do you still collect coins? It's just ridiculously, it's so obvious. It, it, the, the ending is so telegraphed from almost right away when the, when, when the, when the envelope gets handed to her by the, the Indian psychic guy. Yeah, it's just, you, you didn't believe for a second that she was properly cursing the, yeah, and I, th I feel like it could have worked. They could have done something. I, I got the thing about the hair. If that could be also because that kept being like shown in great detail, and if that had actually, I don't know, if maybe it would have worked if the the button was in the envelope that she shoved down the the, the throat of the, but then. Because she tore off just enough hair or something like that, it made, I don't know, it made it not work. And so, yeah, I don't do mythology, sorry. It, not, not this kind, anyway. But, but yeah, you know, make up some explanation. That's the nice nice thing about fantasy. You just make crap up and just say, oh, it's the mystical so-and-so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get hate mail. Anyway, it's just something like that, but don't make it so obviously not. I suppose that pretty much covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.